Well, this is the story of me learning to play the banjo, sort of. And so we begin with the song everybody begins with, which is called Cripple Creek. Four or five years ago, someone gave me a banjo, and I thought if I can play this, I'll be a happy man. Well, I practiced every single day, and I've come a long way. Used to couldn't play a note. Now I can. <laughs> that one, generally. There's no point saying it's silly. Banjo's just hillbilly music played by someone who's married to his cousin. And I know Mark Twain was no banjo fan. He declared that a gentleman is someone who can play the banjo, but it doesn't. Play the banjo. When you see something done well, it looks so easy, it's hard to tell. The simple things can be very hard to master. The fact is, you need a tip or two, like don't stand up in a canoe, and when you hear a banjo, paddle faster. Banjo has a history that goes back through minstrelsy to Africa where the first banjo was made. Back then some guy gave a banjo to a slave. Even then banjo players didn't get paid. I was not born in the USA, but I play the banjo anyway because, frankly, it prevents me from becoming bluish. And I know if I practice for a while, I can play any style, even something Jewish. That's called Jewgrass. In the world outside the door, there's fear and cheats and war and protesters who've had enough. And the reason every picker knows is there just aren't enough banjos. If there were, you couldn't hear all the other stuff. B-A-N-J-O, 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 everybody pay the banjo like this.